Oh my goodness. I can't believe we actually snuck into that party. What? Are we like cool kids now? My mom is almost home and if she find out I went out to Taka, she's going to kill me and resurrect me and kill me again. Then she's going to tell your mom. Well, if you continue driving like this, then we will get stopped by the police. I'll take my chances. Hi, my name is Jennifer Baturi, but my friends call me JB, and I'm a vampire. <laughs> Just kidding. On the contrary, I have a life expectancy of less than five years. We can literally say my days are numbered. <laughs> wow, that sounded intense. Today is my first day back to school, and I'm excited. Well, more like mixed emotions. You must be wondering why the oxygen tank? Well, I suffer from a lung disease known as CLAD, chronic lung allograft dysfunction, and it all started last year. I kinda got myself involved in an accident, which seriously damaged one of my lungs. My mom sold her property and used up all her savings to fly me abroad and get me new lungs. But a month after the transplant, my body decided to reject the new lungs. Don't feel bad for me. Not everyone is meant to cheat death. Why is everyone staring at me? Oh yeah, the oxygen. It could also be because... Of all the places to have a relapse, it had to be in school. Morning, class. Morning. Morning. Jenny. 
far. It's so good to have you back in school. I hope you feel better now. What kind of silly question is that? The girl is literally working with Who her said that? As is, stand up. Report yourself to the principal's office immediately before I deal with you. Mr. Litkoma. Welcome. Hmm. I haven't seen him before. I guess he's new. But he looks kind of familiar. Where have I met you? Who are you? Who's this boy before me? I sense a bit of tension here. Everyone seems all chummy around him. He must have resumed a while back. Probably when I was away. Have I been staring at him? Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. Um, I should say something. Um, good morning. We haven't met before, so I'm guessing I must be new here. I'm sorry, I meant, um, I guess you must be new here. Um, I'm Jennifer, but my friends call me JB. Okay. So let's start by assigning new lab partners. So we'll get into practicals. David and Mary, you both are paired together. Oscar and Jennifer, you both are paired together. Uh, yes, Jennifer. Can I change my lab partner? If I change your lab partner, everyone else will want to change. So no, you can't change your lab partners. Um, okay. Thanks and good luck. Okay, everyone, pick up your apparatus. Um, hey, mm -hmm. have you seen Oscar anywhere? Don't worry, he's not coming. Oh, is he sick or something? <laughs> he's fond of sleeping classes. What? Yeah, he's fond of that. So that's like against the school rules. Ugh. Who cares about the school rules when you have a rich daddy? Ma'am, can I have a new lap partner, please? Everyone is already paired up. Mine isn't here and I'm way behind. If you need more time, I'll give you more time, Jennifer. Okay? How do you feel now? Mm, better now. Thank you, Mommy. Sorry. You have been moody since you came back from school. I hope everything is okay. Everything is fine, Mom. Thursdays are always tough. If anyone is bullying you, you know you can tell me, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to go back to that school, you can. I can easily withdraw you and get you a home school. No. No. I'm sorry. Um, what I meant was, I, I do not need to be homeschooled. I like going to school. But you know, most kids in your condition, they will jump at this opportunity. And it will also give me the time to take care of you. Based on what statistics, Koda Bego, from frying pan to fire, 
mommy, I'm fine, okay? I'm just a little bit sad because Tochi ignored me at school today. Oh, really? Uh, probably it's for the best. We're supposed to be best friends. We've been through everything together, but now things are just weird between us. That girl wasn't a good influence on you. Good readings. And <laughs> then there's this boy I got paired with as my lab partner today. He's so annoying and he always skips classes. Isn't that against your school policy? Well, yeah, but they said his dad is rich or something, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, and he didn't show up for our lab practical today. Can you imagine? So infuriating. Gosh. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Are you sure there's nothing more to this? There is nothing. I'm just, I'm just scared that I might end up doing this project all by myself, and that would be so unfair. <sighs> you want me to step in? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll handle it myself. Are you sure? I'm sure. Don't worry. <sighs> okay. Just take care of yourself. You. Alright, so when you're through, you do this. Thank you. Alright. Mm-hmm. Oscar! Oscar! Jennifer, what the hell? Why haven't you been showing up for our lab practical? Wait, is that, is that why you're shouting? Look, I'm not going to let you put all the work on me, okay? Listen, I don't plan to. Then your actions are not aligning. And by the way, why do you keep skipping classes? Look, I was busy, okay? And why all this noise because of some lab project? This is very important to me. Really? Why are you doing all of this because of me? Well, you can say yourself you're stressed because you're not my type. <laughs> Hold on there. I'm sorry, no offense, but I can never like someone like you. Yeah. And by the way, if you keep skipping classes, I'm going to report it to the principal and tell him that you are skipping classes. Oh, you're a snitch now? You call me whatever, I don't care. Listen, I can easily pay someone to do our lab project for us. No, thank you. I'm smart enough to do my own project on my own. Okay? I'll show up. I come bearing good news. Interesting. But before I say what it is, let me introduce you all to Mr. James O'Mere. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. He's one of our prestigious alumni. Mr. James is a co-founder to one of the biggest pharmaceutical company in West Africa. <laughs> Should I tell them all? Please, my go on. Mr. James has gracefully decided to award two students from this class mm. with an internship at his company. The company has also decided to take care of the students' traveling, feeding, and accommodation expenses. But there's a call to entry. The best student with the best lab projects wins this. Um, um, I have a question. Can I enter this competition without a lab partner? Everyone is paired already. Um, um, okay, so can I get a different lab partner? Have we had this conversation before? Uh, yes. I guess you have your answer there. So any other question? No, ma'am. All right, congratulations and good luck. I look forward to seeing your amazing projects and having some of you guys work with us during the holidays. Do have a great one. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For something. Why are you not in school? I got bored. You got bored? I don't blame you. I blame your mother for spoiling you rotten. Then ship me off to her. Let her take me off your head. So you can become a UK vagabond, right? That is never going to happen. Not under my watch. Stop acting like you care. It doesn't suit you. What do you mean? You're just using me to get back at her, right? I knew that. Stop pretending. You know what? Honestly, if I was her, I would leave your cheating ass as well. Let me ask you, do you think you're a better person? I am far more better than you. Tell me what you call it. Your mother. We need to have a serious conversation on where this rude attitude of yours is coming from. <laughs> See, Pops, you don't have to stress it, all right? Just ship me off to her. I mean, you can stand me and I can stand you, so there's no point. This thing you are doing is not going to work. I mean, I will not allow you to waste all the money I have invested on your ed education. If that's the problem, my mother will pay you back. Every penny. Your mother is broke. She's broke. Is it because she's living abroad or something? Listen, young man. If you choose to stay on the street or wherever you want to stay, that's your business. But I am not going to give you a penny, not even a dime, to go anywhere. I am going out to come back to this house before I am back. If you know what is good for you, you should be in school. Rubbish. What are you doing in my house? Do not raise your voice at me. What happened today? We were supposed to show up for our lab project, but you just left me there waiting like a fool. How did you find my house? How did I find your house? I went to my lab partner. I asked Mrs. Amanda for your house address. Wonderful. Well, I don't care about that school or your dumb lab project, all right? So next time, please save yourself the stress. Well, if you don't care, I do, okay? Not everybody has wealthy parents to help them secure their future like you do. Well, I'm sorry for those who don't. Listen here. Can you start acting more responsible? I mean, look at me. Look at my condition. I have to show up because I have dreams and goals. And I know that my education can help me achieve some of these things. Just like the paid internship the school is offering. Wait, what? What internship? You see? You would have known if you weren't skipping classes so much. Why are you going to answer my question? Fine. One of our alumni who owns a big pharmaceutical company is offering students with the best science project a paid internship in his company, which also includes food, um, transportation, accommodation, and other things. Wait, ac accommodation? Yes. Look, I really think this is a good idea. And I feel that we should apply for it. Just, please. I know you don't need the money, but do this for the sake of your parents. Do this to make them proud. This is supposed to motivate me. Listen, I don't know what it is with this attitude of yours, but it's not going to take you anywhere. Listen, you don't walk into my house acting like you know me, all right? And I obviously do not need your advice, so please, leave my house.
Hello, use the door. Don't act so surprised. You came. Apparently. Why did you change your mind? Does that even matter? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? I'm trying to get a reaction. What are you doing? Don't touch my stuff. You're using the wrong base. <laughs> what do you know? Stop, Oscar! You're supposed to use this. Aren't you going to say it? Say what? I told you so. There's no need for that, okay? You already know that. So next time, this is what you use. All right? So put it down so you don't forget it. So what are we working on, on the for the competition? Oh, I was um, thinking of working on a cure that can regenerate body parts using species that can regenerate body organs. Thank you, as a case study. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. I'll just do my research and I'll look into it. Thanks. <laughs> you don't have to thank me, right? I'm your lab partner. I'm just doing my part. Mm. Why did you change your mind? Well, I need the internship to escape my father. Um, why are you trying to escape your father? And let's just say he can be a bit unbearable sometimes. I wouldn't mind a week or two away from him. I think I understand how you feel. Um, my driver is here. I have to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Um, how are you getting home? Oh, I'll just be for my mom. She's coming to pick me. <laughs> She's the one calling. Hello, mommy. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Where are you? Are you close? My dear, something just happened. What happened? As I was on my way to pick you from school, my car just broke down. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, mommy. Um, have you gotten a mechanic yet? Yes, he is with me. But this thing may take time to fix. You will have to wait in school for a while. Um, no, don't worry, mommy. I, I think I have some cash with me. I'll just take the bus. No, Jennifer. What are you saying? Go and wait with the security man. You will see me soon. Mm, no, mommy. No, that man talks too much. Don't let me repeat myself. Wait, is everything okay? Yeah. No. My mom's car broke down. I... I can drop you off. Where do you live? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think my mom will be comfortable with that. Listen, I have to go, okay? So I'll drop you off or you want to stay in school?
didn't have to walk me home, though. <laughs> it's a gentlemanly thing to do. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so, what can I interest you in? Do you want tea? Do you want water? Or juice? Oh, wait. I just I... remembered. Wait, hold on. I... I... We don't have juice. Sorry. Um, so I can make you tea, right? Do you like it hot or cold? Oh, wait, never mind. I, I don't think you're a tea guy, right? Oh, you like coffee, right? Uh, why are you acting weird? How am I acting weird? I'm not acting weird. You are. Why? I'm not allowed to invite anyone over when my mom's not around. Especially boys. <laughs> really? Why? I mean... What's the worst that can happen? Um, mommy, um, good evening, Mommy. Good evening, Mom. Good evening. Who are you? Uh, he's my friend. He's, he's the one who dropped me off. Thank you for bringing her back home. Ah, no problem, Mom. Well. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, Jay. I have not seen him before. He's the new student. The lab partner I told you about. The one you said is annoying. So you guys are now friends? Mm, yeah. What? He's a handsome young guy. I can see why you like him. Ew. I mean, how do you even say that? Young lady, when you are done with your drama, you go and remove your uniform and come and eat. Okay. And one more thing. Don't you ever bring a boy into this house without my permission. Yes, ma'am. Okay, maybe I like him a little. My lungs are failing, not my eyes. He's obviously good looking and the annoying part is that he knows it. And he's smart, like really smart. Despite how annoying he is, he has a way of always making me laugh. Sometimes I laugh so hard, I have to take a moment to catch my breath, but I don't mind. when I'm with him, like I'm not carrying an oxygen tank around. Sometimes I even forget that I'm sick. He doesn't look at me like everyone else does with pity. He treats me like an equal. How can someone be so perfect? But I can't fall for him. It would never work. She put her mind to late night hours up the hill, serving coffee to strangers, talking about revenue. She kept dreaming of a world big enough for everyone. But she knew it must rain before it grows. She kept dreaming of the day, butterflies survive the wheel, even though she. Knocked down and never showed Yet he cares for me.
Oscar is your ex. Yeah. What happened? Why did you break up? It's a long story. Right now, he's just fronting. But we're definitely going to get back together. Are you confident? <laughs> hey. Of course. Hi. Um, sorry I'm late. The driver had to drop my dad off at the airport this morning. And they refused to let me drive to school. You can drive? I mean, believe it or not, I used to own a car. To drive myself to school and wherever I wanted to go. So, what changed? Why did you switch schools? Honestly, my dad can be a bit overbearing sometimes. I woke up one morning and I couldn't find my car. <gasps> yeah, it turns out that he has taken it away and he also changed my school. Oh. Yeah. He said he wanted me to be closer to the house so he can keep an eye on me. And since then, I can't go anywhere without the driver being on my neck like I'm a toddler. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Why did you ask? Um, I just wanted to know if you switched school so you can be closer to Princess. And why would I want to be close to Princess? Because you two used to date. <laughs> I and Princess are ancient history, okay? Starting to be worried about. Mm. So, what happened between you two? Why did you guys break up? <laughs> because love is a scam. <laughs> no, there's no way you believe that. I do. Hold on. So, one heartbreak, and then you say you are done with love. <laughs> I, I didn't say that, okay? It's just that love has an expiring date. No, it doesn't. Then why do people get to divorce? Look, there are still a lot of beautiful and strong marriages out there. I'm not disputing that fact, all right? It's just that people, people get to use the word love so carelessly, even when it's not that. Okay, now I'm confused. Listen. Uh, infinity? Exactly. I mean, love should transcend through time and place. It's forever. It shouldn't have an expiring date. I mean, that's how it should be. It shouldn't be just, I love you. It should be an infinity thing. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi, Oscar. What do you want? You don't have to be like that. What's up, princess? We need to talk. Why aren't you talking? Alone? Maybe outside school? I'll be busy. Busy doing what? See you around. Hey, stranger. Sorry. Okay. Hey, so what do you want us to talk about? Why are you being so distant? <laughs> is, is that a question? What happened between us is in the past. Can't we just move past it? I've missed you. Princess. What? Why are you shaking? 
Are you scared your little girlfriend is going to catch us? Who? Jennifer? Look, we are just friends. I'm just scared one of the teachers could see us. Just friends? We are just friends. You know she's not even my type. Okay. Hold on. Um, I have to go. My driver is here. I can come with you. Okay. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon, class. Okay. As we all know, it's no secret that our unbeatable team would be playing their first football match for the season next week. So I encourage you all to attend. And Oscar, the sportsmaster said, your performance at the tryout was impressive. So we all look forward to your performance. So thank you and have a good day. Thank you. Congrats. So I told you. Told you I'm speaking to you. She's not there. Please allow me to speak to my friend. Did you come here to blame me for something else? No. Look, Tochi, I know I said some nasty things to you and I'm sorry. But I was really hurt. I was hurt too. Yeah, but it's not the same. And it's my fault, right? I didn't say that. Look, I'm not here to cause any fights, okay? I just, I just want my friend back. What's your friend say? Did you also lose your senses during the accident? What is the color of your problem? You and Tochi are never going to be friends again. You have to get that. If not that you're already dying, but I've landed you very dead. Try it. Why did you do that? What the hell? Are you guys crazy? Why would you put somebody that is sick? She knows she's sick, but she's sick because in trouble. The girl is literally on oxygen. Are you blind? Such a her behavior. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Jennifer! Jennifer, slow down! Can you just let me be? Did I do something wrong? Look, I'm not some sick, poor, dying girl that needs your rescuing. I never said you were. I don't need your saving. <laughs> wow. If you were so tough, then why did you why did you let those girls push you around like that? You know nothing. Listen, it's it's not wrong for people to help you, all right? Especially when you can't. It doesn't show that you're weak or anything. Weak. <laughs> Obviously, that's what you think of me. Look, I I didn't mean it that way. I know I'm not your type. Wait, what? If you're just speaking to me out of pity, then I... I think we should stop being friends. Hey. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? For calling me weak or for embarrassing me in front of the whole class? Which one? 
for everything. I mean, I, I didn't mean to embarrass you. All right, and I don't think you're weak. Listen, Jay, I, I think you're beautiful. Goofy. Wonderful and too smart. You're literally too, too good for us. Hello, class. Hello. Hello, Bob. I come bearing good news. So after examining all your lab projects and careful deliberation, we have our three top for the internship competition. And our top three are Princess and Tochi, David and Miri, and Oscar and Jennifer. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations, guys, and we'll look forward to your final project. Good luck. We should celebrate. It's not easy to get shortlisted. We should do something interesting. I don't know about that. I have a curfew. Um. Congratulations, B. Um. Thank you. We should go out to celebrate. Celebrate what? We both got you at least that. Oh. Yeah, but... I'm sorry I had other plans. Right? Really? I'll send you the time and I'll pick you up later. class is actually inspiring. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, congrats to us, by the way. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, it's not easy to be among the top three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Is everything OK? Yeah. My mom was just checking in on me. Oh, understood. Oh, I must say you look exceptionally beautiful to me. Thank you. Well, you look rather dashing yourself. <laughs> Thank you. I, I clean up well. Yeah. Um, so, what about you and Princess? What about me and Princess? I mean, are you guys back together now? No. No? Then why did you ask me out? I hope you didn't ask me out to get back at her. No. Jennifer, I... I asked you out because I genuinely like you. Really? Isn't it obvious? I can't get you off my mind. Is it just me, or are people beginning to stare at us? Well, I don't think so. What are you doing? I mean, don't you need that for breathing? Uh, I can do without it for some minutes. Yeah. With or without it, you see the most beautiful lady here. So please put it back on because we'll definitely be here in Valentine's Day. Yeah. Fine, you won. Are you happy now? <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> um, I've been curious about something, but I never wanted to ask to make you feel uncomfortable. What's the problem? What's the story behind your illness? I mean, if you'd like to share. Mm. It's actually a very short story. Um, so one night, 
Tochi and I snuck out to attend this party and on our way back home, we had a car accident. Yeah, the driver ran a red light, sped off and just left us there. Must be a reckless driver. I could so. My mom spent all our life savings on my lung transplant. Unfortunately, months later, I relapsed. Yeah, my body couldn't handle the lungs, so that led to the clad disease. That's why you see me walking around with this oxygen tank. Well, fortunately for Tochi, she was able to come out from the accident alive and harmless. I think that's why my mom blames her for everything. I don't understand why you and Tochi are not on good terms. Um, it's... It's a very complicated situation. I'm sorry, Doc. Why are you sorry? <laughs> you didn't cause the accident, so... Life happens. I know life happens, I mean, but... I'm sorry you have to go through all of that. Thank you. Consistent as we grow, I won't slow down. No need to rush. I say it in my dreams. Strange as it may seem. So, what do you mean by I love football more than sports? Mm, like, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, I love sports, okay? And one day I want to be a professional footballer. Oh. Yeah, you know, play internationally and all of that. That sounds cool. Yeah, but I'm scared to tell my dad. Why? Let's just say he will not approve of it. He wants me to be a doctor. Oh, please. Look, we are in an era of people making millions off TikTok. Like, what's all that doctor talk? Parents are more open-minded about career paths these days. Well, that conversation will be had. Wait, are you coming for the football match? Well, the principal made it very compulsory, so... Yeah, I am kind of scared I will flop. Well, that's just the anxiety talking, OK? And it happens to the best of us. Don't worry, you'll be fine. All you need is practice and more practice. <laughs> Speaking of practice, I and the boys are having our training tomorrow after school. Would you come around? I mean, for some moral support? Sure. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for today. It was nothing. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, it was chill. Just chill? I mean, chill. Uh, it was okay. <laughs> Nigerian women. It's just so hard to please you guys. Eh, hey, Nigerian men. You people lack originality. Yes, it's true. So tell me, what is your idea of a perfect date? My idea? Um, let's say a fun day at the amusement park. Just trying all the cool rides and... Um, different games and eating junk food. Wait, that's it? Yeah, I mean, just a fun day with fun field activities. But that's just wishful thinking because I'm not allowed to do that because of this. Well, you can never say never. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. The moment we've all been waiting for. Um, 
sleepo. What? Sleep well? So this boy is just going, just like that. Wow. You did it, bro. Nice one, please. <coughs> um, half time, guys. Where are you going? It's not your time. <coughs> are you okay? <coughs> um, I'm, I'm coming, okay? Hold on to this, okay? I think we should change our specimen from lizard to starfish. They have better regenerative abilities. Do you know how hard that is to come by? Don't worry, I have a guy. Oh, she, she got that really connected. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> so, this is supposed to give us a reaction. Come with me. Where? Where are we going? Trust me. That doesn't answer my question. I've never snuck out of school. Don't worry, you're not so perfect attendance when be rude, right? Are you sure? I don't want to get caught. I won't. Okay? She cannot go on the ride with this tanko. Anna guy, we, we talked about this now. It's not about talking about it. It's ah, I beg you, want me to sack me? See, let me just add a little something for you. You know? It's not about a little something, I beg. This is not oxygen tank. You know if you climb that place. Oscar, look, it's fine. That's your... No, it, it's not fine. Guy, this is not what we talked about now. Ah, but when she go with this oxygen tank, maybe she just drop her me. I'll watch over it till you guys get back. You guys will have fun. Just drop the oxygen tank. Actually, I can do without you for like 
10 minutes. What do you say? Go and have fun. I'll keep it safe for you guys. Have fun, have fun, have fun. Safe. Safe. From here, I love you. <laughs> I know, right? It Thanks really for bringing is. me here. I'm having this all time. You're welcome. I love it here. And I love you. I thought you didn't believe in love. I mean, it's for infinity, so yeah. Back from the doctor. Wait, how did you hear? A friend of mine was at the amusement park. But how is she just. I haven't heard anything from the doctor yet. Oh, God. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Um, Ma, she's, she's at the emergency ward. And what is she doing here? Have I not told you to stay away from her? I just came to see how she's doing. Get out of here! Whenever you are around, bad things happen. I said, get out. What happened? What happened to my daughter? Um, Ma, we we went to. I, I, huh? we, we didn't expect what? this to happen. We... Um, good evening. Ah, doctor. Uh, good evening, doctor. Jennifer is out. Yes, God. Doctor, yeah. I'm Jennifer's mother. Oh, okay. Can I go in and see her now? Ah, yes, you, you can come in. Thank Let you. me lead the way. Thank you. Um, doctor, please, can, can I come as well? Are you family too? No, you can't come in now. Only families are allowed now. But I'll let you know when you can come in. Doctor, take it to my daughter. Thank you. Oscar, what were you thinking? Are you out of your mind or something? That we, we didn't expect this to happen. It, it was an accident. Hey, listen. I have paid Jennifer's hospital bills. You have to leave this place right now. Dad, I, I can just leave her there. Like yes, that. you can. Let's go. I'm not going to repeat myself on this issue again. Let's go. How could you be so reckless? David, it was an accident. We, we... What kind of stupid accident is that? As if it is not enough that you hit her with your car and now you want to finish her off. Better stay away from that girl. Okay. What? So you really can't remember? Remember what? Ah, uh, 
your mother's therapist really did a good job at brainwashing you. Brainwashing? What, what are you talking about? Your mother and I went to an extraordinary length just to clean up that accident. Mom didn't mention anything about what you're saying right now. Of course. She won't. But you are so lucky that those girls did not see the person that hit them that night. This... This doesn't make any sense. So you can't remember the night you had an accident with your car? You were stupid enough to be driving around that night drunk. I... I do. I... I remember, but... I don't remember hitting anyone. Think hard. I know you tried so hard to block that night out of your memory, but think hard. It, it can't be. I, I thought I imagined it. Hello, my beautiful mommy. Where are you? I'm at a party. Oscar, are you drunk? Um, just a little bit tipsy, but don't worry. I'm going home now. Okay. My baby boy, I have something important to tell you. Mommy, what is wrong? I'm leaving your father and I'm relocating to the UK. Wait, relocating? That means you're not coming back? No, I'm not. Wait, when did you make the decision of leaving him? I mean, can't you guys just work it out? That sham of a marriage. I just can't. Mommy, oh, you're not just leaving my dad. You're leaving me too. And maybe after some time, you can come join me. Maybe. I'm still figuring this whole thing out. I'm leaving you with your father, not a stranger. Mom. Oscar, I can't do this with you right now. I'll call you back. Princess. Oh, princess. What tea? I thought you were with Oscar. Oh, don't worry about that. Oscar is just a boy toy. Let's just enjoy the moment. Yeah. Watch it! Hello, Mom. I'm on my way home right now, all right? Please don't go. Just, just wait for me, all right? Hey, Oscar. Hey. Um, thank you. For what? Your dad paid for my hospital bills and he paid for my lung surgery. He also got me pushed up on the donor wait list. Well, I... I didn't know he did all of that. And you don't need to thank me. Um... I didn't get to say this at the amusement park. But, um... I love you too. Oscar. For infinity. You shouldn't. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh. Did I do something wrong? No. So why are you acting like this? How? Like this. Look, I... I just want to focus on myself. Football and my studies, all right? I, I don't really have time for all of this. What are you saying? It was just one kiss, but that don't justify it. I know are you? What I did was wrong. 
Are you breaking up with me? We're never in a relationship. Okay? How? You guy. I should go to class. Maybe I'm just too tired to talk And you don't want to listen It's better we leave it all behind It hasn't always been like this Remember when we were in love You were always there for me And we could talk for hours I don't know what happened to us Oh, cause we bring each other down right now And I don't even know why You know I really think it's time we say goodbye Baby, I'm too fed up with us can't take no more screaming, hurting each other's feelings. No, Maybe I'm just too tired to talk, and you don't want to listen. It's better we leave it all behind. Every day, I feel my heart break a little bit more. I don't know why I can't get him out of my mind. And my heart... How can he be so cruel? How can he just act like I don't exist? Like what we had was nothing. After all, how could he love someone like me? to dress for school. I don't feel like going to school. What do you mean by you don't feel like going to school? I don't want to go back to that school, mommy. <sighs> I want to be homeschooled. Why did you change your mind? Because I realized that it's the best option for me. Plus, my classmates are really not nice to me, so... All of them? Most of them. Okay. I will get you a home teacher. Thank you, Mommy. I have good news. A patient in Canada has agreed to give you his healthy lungs. Mm. What's wrong with him? That doesn't matter. What matters is that you're going to have a new pair of lungs. I will get the doctor and tell him to fix the day for the surgery as soon as possible. I don't want to do it. What is the problem? I could die during the surgery. 
my dear, you don't need to be scared. Oscar's dad got you the best surgeon in the world. My dear, if we don't do this now, I don't know when such opportunity will come for it again. There are people out there that are looking for a long stone. I know, I know, but I'm not ready to go through all of that again. Jennifer, please don't allow fear to... Mommy, I've made up my mind and that is fine now. I'd rather be here with you, happy and safe. Have you seen Jennifer lately? I heard she dropped out of school on the competition. Wait, what? I thought you'd know. No. 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 Mommy. What do you want? Listen, I came here to talk some sense to you. You can't just walk out on the competition. I can, and I already have. <laughs> Are you walking out on your dreams as well? So? Wait, I heard you don't want to do the surgery as well. From who? Your mom. Wonderful. Wait, are you walking out on life too? Maybe. Stop this madness, Jay. Stop acting like a child. Wait, are you doing all of this because of me? <laughs> uh. You must really think you're that special. Then make it make sense. Hey, you have no right to come into my house and ask me stupid questions and make silly demands, okay? <laughs> and stop acting like you're my friend after ignoring me for one week. Listen, I had to stay away from you. It was for the best. Why? Leave my house. Out. Do you know how hard it is staying away from you, Aspen? Jay, every moment without you seemed like hell. Oscar, you don't have to move. I am not lying, Jay. I'm not. Look, right, right now he's taking me everything to find the urge to kiss you. If, if you're doing all of this because of me, I am not worth it. I'm a bad person. I don't understand. Why do you think so? Me understand. I, do you know what? I should go. that you hit her with your car and now you want to finish her off. It's four o'clock in the evening I haven't left my room But the truth is If I'm honest I Look, I... I just want to focus on myself. 
football and my studies, right? I, I don't really have time for all of this. So you really can't remember? Better stay away from that girl. Are you breaking up with me? We're never in a relationship. Okay? Oscar! Oscar! Here's the... What happened? Why, why are you screaming? I thought I told you to stay away from that Jennifer girl. I, I did. Then why did you go to her house this evening? Um... Don't even, don't even try to lie to me. Because the driver told me everything. Do you know the length, the extent to which your mom and I went just to scrub your DNA and clean up every trace of that accident to you? Dad, I... I had to see her. Do you want to be caught? Do you know, I, di I didn't ask for any of this. I, di I didn't ask you guys to cover for me. Oh, you are just an ingrate right now. You know what? Maybe I deserve to get caught. Ever since I discovered I was the one that crashed into her car and damaged her lungs, the guilt has been killing me. But that's the reason I paid for us. It doesn't trip. change anything. Really? You know what makes all these things so terrible is that I can't even remember anything because I was blacked out drunk. What do you want? To Jennifer. I... Don't touch me! Look, I... I can't believe I came to your house to... to beg you to open up to me. God, I feel so stupid. I understand if you hate me right now, Jennifer. I, I am sorry. I mean, can we just go somewhere to talk about this? I'm not going anywhere to talk with you. You're evil! You did this to me. I will not intentionally hurt you. I did not. How long did you know? A few weeks, okay? A few weeks, all right? That, that's why I kept my distance. I didn't know when we met. I couldn't even remember. Look, I, I know that is not an excuse, but if I could go back in time, I would do so many things differently. I'm sorry, Jennifer. We're a monster, and I don't want to have anything to do with you ever again. I hate you.
Shin. Thanks for coming. But I won't be staying for long because your mom hates me. I'm so sorry for the way she treat she's been treating you. You don't deserve it. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry for how my friends treated you. And I'm sorry for avoiding you. It's just that I didn't want any more problem. And I kind of felt that I was the cause of everything. No, it's not your fault. It's Oscar's. <laughs> what? Yeah, he was a drunk driver that ran into us that night. <sighs> Are you serious? And he came to our school a year after and became close to you. Th that's twisted, you know? Um, he, I think he said he doesn't recall anything from that incident, but he was blackout drunk or something. Do you believe him? I strangely do. I mean, that's not an excuse, though. He's the reason for all this. He's the reason I have to walk around with an oxygen tank. I don't think we should blame him for everything. It was an unfortunate incident and life happens. We shouldn't have been at the party and I shouldn't have been speeding and you should have worn your seatbelts. Um, I really missed you. I miss you too, JB. Should we just go back to being friends? in my house. What is she doing here? Mom, she's my friend and she came to see me. People like her are not supposed to be called friends. She is the reason why this is happening to you. It's not her fault. Life just happened. happened and I really don't want to hold on to anger or bitterness but what you did really hurt me Oscar and I don't know if I can ever forgive you I know oh I, I, I am sorry the worst part is that you made me feel like trash after falling for you that wasn't my intention. Why the, the guilt was killing me. I couldn't even bear staying close to you. Please, you don't hate me. Does it matter though? You're going to be miles away, so. Then I won't go. You want to put your life on pause? Because of me. I would do anything for you, Jay. Look, Jennifer, I don't want to leave you. It's like leaving the piece of my heart behind. Then don't. I can feel my lungs failing every second. My time is running out. Please. Do this for you, Jennifer. I'm scared. You don't have to be. You can at least try.
congratulations. I look forward to working with you and your partner. What's her name again? Jennifer, sir. Jennifer, oh, Jennifer. Okay, that's nice. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hey, I'm making this video at 5 a.m. in Canada. The 5 a.m. feels different. This is just me ranting and saying out all the crazy thoughts in my mind. My surgery is today, and I'm, I'm really scared. But I want you to know that from the first day I met you, I knew I was in trouble <laughs> because I liked you immediately. And now I love you to infinity. My love for you is beyond time and space. So carry me in your heart always. Stay cheesy. <laughs> I think you're the most beautiful girl. That is not a lie. That's not a lie. <laughs> because I think you're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, really? Is it? Oh, you're doing all of this because you've got to put up, 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 put up. Yeah, yeah, got it. Put up, 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 put up. And action. We'll use a filter. I said one when I was entering. I said one when I was entering. Is that one? Here's my phone. Here, draw. It's up, it's up. Okay. I'm still getting it from you. Oscar! I'm looking for you to do that, yeah. That's me. Oh, no, like I had a pickup, pick up, bro. Yeah. No, 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 he said from so, Sorry. What? Am I starting with the Don't leave yet, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I won't go. I won't go. Ah. <laughs> uh.